what's up? It's that Metal Guy 1983, and today I'm coming to you with a beer review for a new beer and a beer company I've never tried before. It's an Imperial Stout. It's from Marble Brewery, um, and they are <clears throat> out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. From the Wood. Best enjoyed by a crackling fire, this decadent pitch black stout swirls with cheerful winter flavors. The tan head wafts a vanilla bourbon molasses espresso notes finishing with a crescendo of a nice chewy anise, which I've never had a stout that had all those going on. So I'm really excited to give this a shot. Oh, wow. Look at the color on that. Whew. Definitely get the bourbon and vanilla and molasses off the nose there. Whew. All right. Cheers. Happy Friday freaking night. Here's to the weekend. Oh my god, that's delicious. It's sweet. It changes as it rushes over your tongue. Wow. That is phenomenal. That is probably one of the better stouts I've ever had. Again, there's the can. Huh. Holy hell, 11 ABV in the <laughs> Woo, baby. That's a potent stout right there. You only get the hint of that in these, so what I really pull out of this is the bourbon, molasses, and vanilla, and not even super strong on the coffee in this one. It's all those other notes, which most stouts have a prevalent coffee kind of flavoring to them, but wow, 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 wow. Wah, wah, wee, wah. So got some nice lace in there. Look at how dark that is. It is just super dark. You are not seeing through. This is pitch freaking black. It's as dark as you're getting with this stuff. Damn. Damn. Kids asleep on the couch. Wife is at the store. Excuse me. Not really. Hey, in some cultures, that's considered showing that you really enjoyed it. So, I am really enjoying this beer. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, being for so, being such a high ABV beer, alcohol, a, the alcohol in this being 11%, it is really damn good. Um, you definitely get all those great notes. Man, I wish this was in a big arcane. <laughs> I need, yeah, I want to try more from these guys. Marble, what's up? You guys have some great beer. Damn. This is awesome. Um, as you guys know, I'm doing lots more beer reviews. More to come. I've got some more on the way. And... Uh, Got some other specialty things in here. I'm going to film a couple more because I feel like getting a little buzzed. A little buzz on. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, man? Alright. 
I'm so freaking happy it's the weekend. Today was a freaking long week. The last couple days I worked were awesome. I got on a new team, um, got a new soup. It feels like a whole new energy in a different room. The lights aren't so bright, so I started doing my hair. Yeah, I like it. Oh, yeah. Um, and uh, dressed up, was wanting to button up earlier. But uh, yeah, feeling good, feeling re energized, feeling positive, feeling good. Been working out, been feeling the flow up and down, all around, ride the carousel happy. Yeah, I'm just feeling good. Uh, rocked out hard yesterday on my day off. You guys saw that when I posted it. And uh, today in the car, I was rocking out to some five finger. Uh, yeah, uh, apparently, I guess what on Metal News, I didn't know, and I'm a huge Avenged Sevenfold fan. I mean, really big Avenged Sevenfold fan. I had no idea a brand new album came out. No one sent me the memo. I saw like a new song was getting released. I didn't see anything about a new album, so I need to pick that up. Came out on the 8th. Uh, what else? Ozzy's probably not going to tour anymore. Um, unfortunately, his Parkinson's is really kicking his butt, and uh, yeah, it's sad. I was hoping to see him in June. I got to see him once with the original Black Sabbath lineup in 2005, which was amazing. Um, what else is going on? Lamb of God's got a new album coming out in May. Um, yeah, uh, that's what's going on there. Um, just feeling good, feeling pumped, loving what's happening in my life. Uh, like in the direction I'm feeling the, the paradigm shift that's happening. I just feel like I'm really on track, cranking out content, cranking out at work, and working out, and, you know, putting on the guns, you know. Oh. Anyways, hope everyone has a kick-ass weekend. If you're working, whoop its ass, and if you're not, we're gonna party like it's 1999, Fred Durst out. All right, keep on rocking. You guys have a right on kind of night. Keep on kicking ass. Oh yeah.